Hamim. Hamim is an invocation of Allah by his one lettered names, Al Fawatih. Calling upon Allah by Hamim is requesting that Allah breathe life into his kingdom. Ha is pronounced by exhaling from the deep regions of the chest and striking the vocal cords to produce a guttural sound. Ha is introduced in the scripture by the eight letter chet of the Hebrew abjad. Chet and ha are harsh sounds produced in the throat. Allah is al hay the living. Wahi is a revelation sent down by the living God, a living revelation. Wahi. In Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, Wahi describes the creation of Adam, preceded by Ha, as in Wahi Ha Adam. Meaning that Adam became a living soul. The name of the earth that Adam was created from is Adama, a feminine creation. The fifth letter, He, of the Hebrew abjad, He, is synonymous with the Arabic Ha in the statement, Hayya ala salat, which is loosely translated as come to prayer. Hayya ala salat is an invitation to obtain life on the praise accompanied by the falling down in worship of Allah. Wahi is pronounced with hey in the Hebrew dialects and ha in the Arabic Quran. وَمَا كَانَ لِبَشْرٍ أَنْ يُقَلِّمُ اللَّهُ إِلَّا وَحْيًا And it is not for a mention. In other words, and it is not for a human being that he, Allah, speaks to him except وَحْيًا which is by revelation. وَمَا كَانَ لِبَشْرٍ أَنْ يُقَلِّمُهُ اللَّهُ إِلَّا وَحْيًا this is found in the Quran, Surah 42, Ayah 51. And it is not for a human that he, Allah, speaks to him except by revelation. Mention is a Yiddish word for human, incorporated into the German vocabulary. The word mention more correctly describes a human as Bashara. Meaning that a human is a mentioning of Allah. A human is a mention, a vibrating body issued forth by a word of Allah. Wa it kala rabbuka lil malaikati inni khalikul bashran min sosalan min hama'in masnun. And when your Lord said to the angels, Indeed, I desire. A human from so sound, from sound, min hamatin masnoon, from black repetition, from blackness repeated. Sunnah comes from the word masnoon. Sunnah is a tradition in that it is something that is repeated. Masnoon, so sound min hamatin masnoon, is the sound of blackness repeated. The rhythmic sound of blackness, the essence of the human soul. It is no coincidence that the industry picked up on these terms. Those institutions are called media, and a media is a medium by which information is transmitted. There are three methods mentioned in Surat Ashura by which Allah communicates with the mind. The first mentioned communication is by wahyan, which is direct revelation. The second mention 
is by speaking from behind a veil. And the third mention is by sending a messenger. So he reveals with his permission what he wills. Indeed, he is Aliyun Hakim, the Supreme Judge. This is found in the Quran, Surah 42, Ayah 51. Furthermore, Allah is knowledge manifest in all things. And He is in everything. Alim, knowing, manifesting. Or you can say knowledge unfolding. Alim is both knowledge and manifestation. Wahuwa bikulli shay'in alim. And he is in all things. Alim. Knowledge manifest. Knowledge manifesting. He is knowledge in everything and he is manifest in everything. Ponder this in the Quran. Surah 6, Ayat 101. The word kulli is that which is spoken into existence and shay is from sha, meaning will. Kulli shay means all things as in all things willed into existence. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّمَا كَوْنُنَا لِشَيْءٍ إِذَا رَدْنَاهُ أَنْ نَقُولَ اللَّهُ كُنْ فَيَّكُنْ Our only word for a thing when we want it is that we say to it, be, so it is. You can find that in the 16th chapter of the Holy Quran, Surah 16, Ayat 40. Allah says, Indeed, I make an announcement. German translations of Quran render Bashra as mention. Mention is a German word for human. Humanity is sounding mind created by Allah. Hence, a human is a mention. The German translation of Quran, Surah 15, Ayah 28, presents mention in the form of menschlichkeit, meaning humane, but more clearly understood as an announcement or a mentioning. Allah said, Indeed, I make an announcement, or Indeed, I make a mention. A human is a command of Allah mentioned into existence. Mentioning a pleasant command is bashra, announcing it as good news. A bashra is a mentioning of Allah. One should note that German words are incorporated from Yiddish and that those who speak Yiddish are interpreting from Hebrew scripture. Standard English translations have yet to convey the meanings of Hebraic words. Hebrew is a dialect of Arabic. The Arabic meanings codified in the German language are ich, ich, meaning brother or sister, bin, from ibn, meaning son. Ah, from wahi, meaning revelation. Nur, meaning light. Allah is light of the heavens and the earth. And an means that. Ikh bin ah nura an mensh, means I am only human. Again, mensh is a Yiddish word incorporated into German. Mention in the Yiddish Hebraic analogs are the good and humane qualities of a human being. Based on a spoken word 
of good news, which is Bashara in Arabic. Human. The word human is an Arabic and Hebrew word combined with a Greek suffix. Hum is Hebrew. Hum for black and brown. The primary meaning of human begins with the Arabic word hum, spelled with ha, wow, and mim. The Greek suffix an means pertaining to. Human means pertaining to black or brown. According to Lane, page 678, hum is initiated with the past tense verb, ham. Ham is firstly defined as hawla al-ma'i, meaning surrounding water. Hawla means to encircle and is the word origin of whole, H-O-L-E. Al-hawli is an annual lunar cycle. An Islamic year is 12 months on the lunar calendar, determined by witnessing al hilat which are the crescent moons. The words man and moon share a connection with menstrual and monthly. From the Latin root, mens. Listen. Man, menstrual. Moon, month, from the Latin word, or root, in this case, R-O-U-T-E, root, mens. Ovulation is triggered when the moon is in the same lunar phase as it was when the mother was born. The 28-day lunar cycle correlates with the 28-day period between menstrual cycles. And the average pregnancy lasts 280 days. Pregnancy due dates are determined by lunar cycles. Then the water breaks. Al-ma'i is water. About which Allah says, وَجَعَلْنَا مِنَّ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ We made every living thing from water. You can find this in the Quran, Surah 21, Ayah 30. Ham, as in Hawla al Ma'i, is encircling water due to thirst. Most cities are located near bodies of water. The second definition of Ham is Ala al Shaykh, Ala al Shaykh, meaning above the thing. Ala al Shaykh is the Arabic origin of overstanding. The Greek synonym for alal she is the prefix epi and ep, which gives us the words up and upon. Human, spelled in Arabic ha, wa, mean, alif, nun, which is h, u, m, a, n is pronounced Hawaman. Human, spelled in Arabic ha wow mean is pronounced Hawmun. Hawaman, Yahmum, and Hum are said of a bird or a thing that flies. Hum means it went or hovered or circled round about the water by reason of thirst or round about the thing. At conception, sperm hovers around an oven. Oh, I'm sorry, did I say oven? I meant to say ovum. But notice how it sounds like oven. Well, at conception, sperm hovers around an ovum, wherein is cytoplasm. Dense materials reveal the activity of the soul body. A human is essentially a vortex of unfulfilled desire encircling a life source. The letter mean 
is for Al-Malik and Malik Al-Mulk. Alif, Lam, Mim, Al-Malik, Malik, Mulk. Tabarrak al-Ladhi, biyadhi al-Mulk, wa huwa ala kulli shay'in kudir. Blessed is the one who, in his hand, is the kingdom, and he is above all things, powerful. Tabarrak al Blessed is the one who, be yaddihi in his hand, al mulku the kingdom, wa huwa, and he, ala kulli shayin, is above all things, qadir, powerful. You can find this in the Quran, Surah 67, Ayat 1. Al ma'i, the water is derived from the letter Mim. Soma Psychicon is the name of the mental body delivered in the Greek lettered evangel. A mental body is sown, a spiritual body is raised. If there is a mental body, there is also a spiritual body. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 44. The sowing of the mental body is an inscription upon the psyche. Allah says, Kataba rubbukum ala nasihi arrahmata. Your Lord inscribed mercy upon his nas. That can be found in the Quran, 6th surah, 54th ayah. And nas is a singular feminine noun synonymous with conscious mind. Ment, mental, nefesh, psych, and soul. Kataba is imprinting upon the psych, or programming the soul. According to Surat Yusuf, Ayah 53, Indeed, the mind is a commander in the evil. Illa ma rahima rabbi, except what my Lord sustains in his mercy. That's found in the Quran, Surah Yusuf, which is the 12th chapter, Ayat 53. Rahima is the masculine form of mercy, which is sustaining a sound mind in precaution. According to Christian occultist, Max Hendam, quote, the desire body is made of desire stuff from which human beings form feelings and emotions, end quote. Allah says, wa nafsin wa ma sawaha by the sight and what proportions her. Fal alhamaha fajuraha wa taqwaha. Then he inspired her, her wickedness and her righteousness. Qud aflaha. Men zakaha. Certainly he succeeds who purifies her. This is found in the Quran, the 91st surah, ayah 7 through 9. Al Hama is the inspiration of Allah. Allahumma is the invocation of Allah. Temperament of the conscious mind is regulated by the presence or absence of decreed spirits. The higher self resonates with guiding spirits. The lower self resonates with demonic spirits. Transmutation of the soul is esoteric alchemy called jihad bin nafs. It is the struggle with the soul also called Jihad al-Akbar, the great struggle. According to Surat al-Ankabut, وَمَنْ جَحَدَا فَإِنَّمَا يُجَحِدُ لِنَفْسِهِ And whoever struggles, indeed, he struggles for his sake. This can be found in the Quran, Surah 29, Ayah 6, 
and whoever strives, indeed he strives for his own mind. Nafs, nafsi. According to Hendel's Rosicrucian theosophy, quote, the desire body exhibits colors that vary in every person according to his or her temperament and mood. However, the astral body or soul body must be evolved by means of the work of transmutation and will eventually be evolved by humanity as a whole, end quote. The coloring of etheric bodies and topic of melanin research is derived from the 22nd ayah of Surah Rum, where Allah says, وَمِنْ أَيَّاتِهِ خَلْقُ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَإِخْتَلَافُ سِنَاتِكُمْ وَأَلْوَانِكُمْ إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لِأَيَّاتٍ لِلْعَالَمِينَ And of his signs are the creation of the heavens and the earth and the diversity of your languages and the diversity of your colors. Indeed, in that are signs for the scholars. This is in Surah 30, Ayat 22. The desire body. Indeed, the psych, the mind, is a commander in the evil or with the evil. Surah 12, Ayat 53. Use of the letters hamim to describe the desire body are found in classical Arabic expression, such as ham, fulanu ala al amr, such a one desired or sought the thing. Lanes, Arabic to English lexicon, page 678. Ham ala he affected or inclined towards his relations, like one going round about water. Ha ma in is the word used in Genesis chapter 1 verse 7 to describe the waters above and below the heavenly vault called Rakir. According to the theosophical founder, William Q. Judge, quote, there are many names for the astral body. Here are a few. Lingua Sarira. Sanskrit, meaning design body. And the best one of all, ethereal double, phantom, wraith, apparition, doppelganger, personal man, peri spirit, irrational soul, animal soul, buddha, elementary, spook, devil, demon. Some of these apply only to the astral body when devoid of the corpus after death. William Judge, The Ocean of Theosophy, 2nd edition, 1893. Chapter 5, the word perispirit means surrounding breath. Spire is the Latin root of spirit and spiral. Spire means air, oxygen, and breath. Inspiration, expiration, respiration, and aspiration are all related to spirit. Spiraling is the winding motion of wind. The Greek prefix for roundabout is peri, as in perimeter, perimeter the surrounding of a measured space. Ham, verbal past tense of home, means it went or hovered or circled round about the water by reason of thirst or round about the thing. Again, that's Lane's lexicon, Arabic to English lexicon, page 678. The primary meaning of ham and human as a mental body and the Greek synonym Soma Psychicon gives rise to the 16th century philosophy of Rene Descartes in his thesis that mind and body 
are really distinct. Mind-body dualism distinguishes the nature of the mind, that is a thinking, non-extending thing, is completely different from that of the body, that is an extended, non-thinking thing. And therefore, it is possible for one to exist without the other. Again, that's the philosophy of Rene Descartes, that the mind and the body are really distinct from each other, and that there is a mind-body dualism, distinguishing the nature of the mind as something completely different from that as the body. And it is therefore possible for one to exist without the other. Most of the time when we think of the creation of Adam, we only think of the material creation, what, he, what substance is he created from, without considering the soul. Mental dualism is presented in the Quran by distinguishing perception from emotion, assigning the soul to the latter. وَلَكَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانِ مَا نَفْسُهُ And certainly we created man, and we know what his soul whispers to him. And certainly we created the mind. And certainly we created mental perception. And we know what his soul whispers to him. This is found in the Quran, Surah 50, Ayat 16. Anasa is the masculine root verb for al-insan, meaning he saw. Reference that in the Quran, Surah 28, Ayat 29. Ans is perception. Look at Surah 4, Ayat 6. And seeking permission. Surah 24, Ayat 27. The masculine aspect of the nafs is breathing. Reference that in the 81st Surah of Quran, Ayat 18. And aspiring. Reference that in the 83rd Surah of Quran, Ayat 26. Al Mutanafisun are those who aspire towards witnessing the Elyin, Surah 83, Ayah 18. The feminine aspect of the nafs is synonymous with the Greek word psyche, Latin word mentis, Proto-Indo-European word men, and Sanskrit word manas, meaning mind, mania is Greek for madness of the mind. The feminine soul, nafsin wahidat, and cosmic wombs, al-arham, are mentioned in the first ayah of Surah An-Nisa, the women, the fourth surah of the Quran, the first ayah. Allah created us from nafsin wahidatin, a single feminine soul. Wahid is masculine. Wahida is feminine. Nafsin wahidatin is the single feminine soul. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is arhama rahimin. He is the most merciful of the merciful. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us to have reverence and respect, regard for al arham the wombs that are named after his own attribute. Let's take a brief moment to look at the science of Surat al-Nisa. Think of how black holes absorb star particles, then deliver them in concentrated jet streams producing stellar flares. The human body is composed of atomic particles called stardust from stars that exploded billions of years ago. Star particles are the building material of cosmic energies. According to Max Hendel, the term astral body was employed by the medieval alchemist because of the ability it converted to traverse the starry regions. The astral body is regarded as the philosopher's stone or living stone of the alchemist. The wedding garment of the Gospel of Matthew the Rosicrucian orders and like-minded theosophists have organized charts illustrating the metaphysics of Quranic terminology. 
My illa, how agreeable for hearts are thoughts inspiring your remembrance. How sweet traveling to you through imagination upon the roads of the unseen worlds. How pleasant to taste of your love. How delightful to drink of your nearness. This is a quote by Mawla Ali ibn Hussein alayhi salam from the Psalms of Islam, the whispered prayers of the knowers.